them to what or what have you. And when they come back, they don't want to go back. The bureaucracy, uh, go here, uh, come back, and then this, I don't know, I don't know how um, your agency is going to work around that. Mm. And then um, for widows, um, I'm a single mother. My friends are widows. So when you are talking about widows, single mothers, they dare to say, you know. <laughs> so, um, if you are saying, who will you reach out to? Um, they are in the community. Nobody can reach out to me. I'm a person living with HIV AIDS. We have a foundation where we meet and we discuss because I can't, I can't walk up to somebody else is done because has, who wears the shoes? So, you are already in a foundation where they can listen to me. So many widows in my community don't know this organization. So you are privileged. You already have an organization that is standing here to talk for you. So you are lucky. Like, I will go back to the community and talk about, I'm just hearing this organization wow. for the first time. Wow. We have a lot of widows in the community, and the organization are open my eyes. Well, thank you, Eno Morris. Thank you, thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Please, I kindly want to ask, based on what Mrs. Hope said, she said we should reach out to other widows that don't have this privilege. Now, I want to ask, the truth is that in my surrounding, I am fortunate because of my state, just as she said, people always come to you because they feel you are in the same shoe and you are the right person to talk to. So I want to ask, how can we help these widows? Thank you. In this, in, um, as they round this up, I'm sure each panelist in 60 seconds may, 60 seconds may, they are going to also share nuggets as we round this panel session up, straight to the point, who should we run to? I know you have shared, but we want specific, something that can hold. Where can our voices be heard? Who can we talk to? Even though CBOs are also here like the Nogoris. And faith base, where do they fall? So one, one minute each. With the time starts now. Within yourself, with those, get your friends. Find a mentor. That is what I said to you. Within, within the organization, I would say the time has come for us to 
stop the segmentation, let's come up together. She meant something about who do you want, who do you want. If we have a body of bodies doing this thing, so we can each, each and every one of us will now know which department each department is doing. So that we do we don't end up doing the same thing, thousands of people doing the same thing with one group of people. That is what I would say as was saying. But as I wanna hope, I would say to you, what each and every one of you. She has said we don't run to church, even though they will work of media, legal, and in church. Because church is important too, to protect the person, but not for anybody to protect you. Like I said, find yourself, you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. It's not making up your mind. Don't be entitled. Is that, we know who is the child. Yes. I will encourage us to develop thick skin. It does have to be strong. Because then we need to identify our mentors. But if we identify our mentor, and the mentor is the wrong person. That's why I said we must be very, very strong. We hope for God. And then we pray that the kind of the country that we have, they will hear our voices. Yeah. If I have what we call a grief clinic, you know, when you're asking about doing when it, when it was just talk to somebody, at times it's not about us pouring out your heart. You just have a place to just sit down and you pour out your heart and you have professionals. See, when you're not to church and tell you, just give you counsel and advice based on the Bible, which is good. But you don't need a professional counselor who is been trained and cannot talk to you from a personal perspective. So that's what we have there. And I'm not, I'm learning about to pass now. I guess you want to do a full collaboration with them, like I said. Don't do recycling, recycling, recycling. Let's push this half over. Thank you. 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 To make it in life. What did I say? The result to make it in life. Hard work does not kill. Working hard does not kill. Okay? And then, like uh, mommy said, also train your children to be self dependent. That's, you must be independent. You can't continue to depend on your man or family or relations or friends. That is one thing you have to be resolute about. If not, you will be frustrated all the way. So you will be able to get a number of family disappointments. You can't be disappointed. Every one of them is disappointed. That's just it. That's the truth. And then apart from that, what I'll say is this. In your communities, I do not know all the widows of the communities. You need to come together as widows in that community. You have to know yourselves. The unseen, unseen what they don't mention to you. We have to start from today. Hello, from today. And then politics is very key. When I tell people, if you are not there and say, we well, talk about what you're going through, nobody who is not in your shoes can talk better for you. So you should also aspire to be in politics. Not necessarily taking a position, but at least it's part of the show making in whatever party you find yourself. It's very, very important. We need to speak out. Because about today, we have about 8 million widows in Nigeria. Whoa. Over 8 million. And over, we're talking about the, the indigent ones. And we're not talking about the rich ones. And over 21 million children widows. So where do we go from here? We need to start talking. We need to start coming together. We need all of us to be on board. Leave no one behind. Leave no one behind. Thank you. Uh, first, let me make a clarification. I'm not representing ABC yeah. in any capacity. Media. I'm representing myself yes. as a media scholar and as a communication scholar and across as a journalist. Uh, what, I, what I want to say is that I think my, my message here will go to women organizations. Um, you're working so hard, but you're in the dark. And because you're in the dark, you can't miss it. Um, I think it's time we need to actually uh, engage the media through the TV. The BBC as an organization has a desk for women. We have a women's reporter in Nigeria. Our job is to look for women's stories. Your view is on TBC. It's a woman panel. And so, what they do, they talk about family policy. The more important thing is family. Media, uh, people who, who, women NGOs should engage these people because women NGOs will give us access to different people with different uh, stories. And another thing is that for, for women NGOs, we need to actually strike a balance and understand the media. Now, when you have your ideas and the things you're working on, 
But if you come to me and say that I want to have an event, come and cover it. My managers and the company will treat that as a commercial activity. So we need to actually develop capacity in how to pitch the service. So you are not coming to tell us that you want to do a good widow's day program. But you are telling us that you are pitching the story of two witches. Story so powerful that no media organization would want to protest it. And then you tell them that I will give you access to this people. These are their stories. But then this is what I am doing with this. Now, the story is about them. And then they mention what you are doing. So what many NGOs do is that they come to us and say, we are doing this. The board comes back to media. It's a collaborative effort. But then we, we will work well if these NGOs can come to us and then we see how we can tell the story. I'll be very willing to handle media relations 